Six of Swords, get out. Prince of Wands, take inspired action now to get out. Ten of Wands in reverse, avoid an overwhelming burden. To the Four of Cups, contemplate and reevaluate. You think you got it all figured out. And if you did, the hand of God wouldn't be offering you a fourth cup that's going to bring you the stability of the emotional processes that you need, okay? Hey Taurus, it's Dana, the gypsy psychic. What is happening, you guys? What's happening? It's been about six weeks since I've been around and I'm ready to throw down, Taurus. I'm ready to throw down. I am. See, y'all, for me, it's got to cook, right? It's got to cook. It's just kind of frivolous to me to do tarot card reading after tarot card reading after tarot card reading for, for the general public because shit's got to cook, you know? It does. It takes six weeks to form a habit, right? Or to break a habit. And therefore, I personally think that six weeks is a reasonable amount of time between heavy readings. I do. So you shall see me here about eh, once every six weeks, sometimes once a month. It just depends on what's going on in my life and um, how much time I have. So this is your six weekish reading for the sign of Taurus. I too am Taurus. I'm a Taurus sun. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus with a little bit of Scorpio up in there. But I am Taurus sun. We are going to do a general tarot card reading for the sign of Taurus. This may or may not resonate with you. The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. That is the only way. You can watch YouTube till you're blue in the face, but you're never going to get the understanding, the wisdom, or the guidance that you're seeking because tarot is an intimate divination tool meant to be used between the recipient, higher power, and the medium. There's no other way to know your real story. So drop the dime and get your cards read by me or anyone else. I don't care. I don't care who you pick, but get your cards read and stop wasting your time. Okay. All right, guys, let's do a reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay. I'm just as excited as you guys are about this. I don't read my own cards. I don't sit around all day reading my own cards. I really don't. This is the first time I have read my own cards in well since the last Taurus reading I've read my own cards twice for real and not a big huge reading either just some little questions here and there right just to uh, confirm my own intuition anywho I'm excited about this so let's jump in and let's do it okay all right it's gonna work like it always works I'm gonna shuffle I'm gonna pray I'm gonna lay out at least 15 cards going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you, okay? But just hang with it and I will sew together a story and I will and it will make absolute sense, okay? All right, let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus and what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves and their lives? What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Spirit, tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is these cards are going to say. All right, right there. All right, let's go. Do it over here so they can see. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Two and three. Bottom of the deck, the King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility, emotional manipulation, um, possibly used to hold feelings, but doesn't anymore. We'll see. All right. First card out. Eight of Cups in reverse. Walking away, moving on, leaving, disappointment, 
hopelessness. Nine of cups. This is emotional fulfillment, fulfillment, um, happiness, wishes fulfilled, comfort, like right on, right? The queen of cups. Woo. This is just feels all over the place. This is a mature, grounded, stable kind of positive emotion. Okay. The King of Swords, this is talking about some kind of truth, some kind of honesty, um, possibly conversation, possibly an authority figure. The Nine of Pentacles, independency, self-sufficiency, culmination, standing in your power. The Chariot, pushing forward, rolling forward. The Seven of Wands in reverse, feeling overwhelmed or self-protection overly protective, the two of swords in reverse, maybe not enough information, justice, some kind of truth, honesty, uh, in your best interest, for sure, right under the king of swords could be some kind of authority thing. We'll see. King of wands in reverse, a lack of success, um, someone who is egocentric and self-centered, ruthless, the ace of cups in reverse, wounded feelings, hurt feelings, the Six of Swords, a regretful but necessary transition. The Prince of Wands, some kind of inspired action. The Ten of Wands in reverse, talking about um, either unloading some kind of a burden or some kind of burden that's too much to bear. The Four of Cups, contemplation. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, loss. The world, some kind of cycle change to the Eight of Pentacles. Great. Uh, 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 growing, learning, perfecting the f Pentacles, right? Security. Four of Pentacles, security, control, power, the sun, happiness, success, vitality. The hanged man, maybe waiting, pausing, thinking. The queen of wands in reverse, um, Needs not being met, again, could be egocentric, self-centered kind of thing. The Ten of Swords, an ending, a painful ending. The Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. It's repeating what was right here, right? The Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair. The Princess of Swords, possibly communication, strength in reverse. The Four of Swords in reverse to the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Prince of Cups in reverse, the Princess of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. And Wands in reverse, the World in reverse, I mean the Wheel, the Hermit in reverse, the Devil in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, holy shit. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, what is happening? The High Priestess in reverse to the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Wands in reverse to the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Star, the Star, hold on. Damn it. The Five of Pentacles and the Alchemist. The Seven of Cups. Okay, we have to stop there because we have to stop somewhere, all right? And this will all make sense to all of us in just a minute. All right, so what do we got going on here? Eight of Cups, walking away, rejecting something. Nine of Cups, happiness. Queen of Cups, feelings. Um, the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords. Uh, are these, are th is this, what is the connection between the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords? That's what I want to know. What is the connection between the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords? Is this, is this Taurus and someone else? What is the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords? What is it? The Seven of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the King of Cups. So, breaking free, new perspective, King of Cups in the upright, feelings. Okay, so that's the bridge between those two. All right, so with the Eight of Cups in reverse, is this the past? Was this walked away from in the past, or is this advice for the future. What is the Eight of Cups in reverse about? What is Eight of Cups in reverse about? The Six of Pentacles. Okay. Giving, receiving, and sharing in some kind of prosperity, 
hopelessness, okay? Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Look at that, the Two of Swords goes to that as well. Okay, so what brings in the Nine of Cups then? What brings in the Nine of Cups? To the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords. Is this some kind of truth? The King of Swords in reverse. What brings in the Nine of Cups? The King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords. Manipulative, angry, happiness, success, vitality, the three of wands, having some foresight. Okay. Okay. The hermit in reverse, withdraw. Wow. All right. That's a little bit more serious than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> For real. For real. This is, um, something's going on here. I need to figure out what it is, but something's going on. I'm going to figure out what it is. Hold on. Okay, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. Pay attention. This is important, okay? This is really important. This is a warning of something that is either about to happen, happening, possibly, possibly happened in the past, but I think it's a foreshadowing, okay? So Eight of Cups in Reverse. First card out sets the tone for the whole reading. What is this talking about? First card out sets the tone for the whole reading. Eight of Cups in Reverse. This is about hopelessness and walking away from something, okay? And that is the tone for this whole reading. Hopelessness and walking away from something, okay? The Six of Pentacles, right? Wanting to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life. To the Two of Swords in reverse. I'm going to read you the exact definition of this card. Let me find it. Uh, two of Swords in reverse. Indecision, confusion, not enough information. Okay? So, it's hopeless. Walk away from the hopes of Somehow giving and receiving and sharing in the prosperity of life. Somehow, some way. Maybe it's a business deal. Maybe it's moving in together. Maybe it's um, um, starting a business with someone. All right. But your hopes of this being prosperous and sharing in it um, is hopeless. Two of Swords in reverse because something is being hidden from you. You're not seeing something clearly, okay? You can't even be at a crossroads because you don't have all the information that, that you should have, okay? Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. This can be yours, okay? To the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is representing you in this entire reading somehow, some way, because you have some kind of guts and feelings invested in this situation. Okay? Some kind of, of, of guts is the only word I can think of. You've got some skin in the game. There we go. You have some skin in the game, but it's in the realm of feelings somehow, some way. Okay. So wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. That's what's being proposed to you. That's what you think is going to happen here. Okay. Queen of cups. You're feeling good about it. You have some good feelings about it. Okay. Um, to the king of swords right here, this king of swords tells me that this is a partner of yours somehow some way it's a second thing it could be wife and husband it could be brother and sister it could be business partners it could be mother and sons uh father and daughter mother son whatever the thing is okay but there is a team here of some sort some way one of you you taurus is represented by the queen of cups because you have some kind of feels invested here the king of swords is the other person okay whoever that is for you, okay? Nine of cups, happiness, wishes fulfilled, right? Is clarified by the king of swords in reverse. This is um, emotional manipulation. It's dishonesty. It is um, some kind of, of negative untruth, okay? Okay, 
to the king of swords, not to the king of swords, but this king of swords right here could be for some of you, okay? It could be that your partner gets pissed off when you offer what it is that this reading is about, okay? I don't think so though. I think this king of swords is someone else in reverse that is not being forthcoming or honest with you, okay? Could it be later on as we go that your partner, this king of swords, tries to screw you over? Maybe. Let's just make a little side note about that. And if that's what unfolds here, I'm going to come back to that. Okay. But I don't feel that either. I feel like it's you, it's someone else, and you have high hopes of some kind of happiness, but you don't know all of the truth and the prosperity that you're trying to create in this situation um, is false somehow, some way. Three of Wands says, have some foresight, look down the road, see what's coming towards you to the hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse is about withdrawing. It's about loneliness, isolation, and withdrawing. And being Major Arcana, what it's saying is for you to withdraw. Four of Pentacles, for your security, for your safety, and your stability. Okay? Nine of Pentacles. This is remaining self-sufficient and independent. Oh, that's what this is. That's what this is. Look, you, Taurus, are the Queen of Cups. This King of Swords is the, is the partnership that you're entering into, okay, that is supposed to bring a bunch of happiness. So it's you, Taurus, entering into something with the King of Swords. Perhaps it's an air sign, uh, uh, Gemini, she's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Perhaps it's an air sign um, that you're getting involved with. Perhaps it's somebody with some power or some authority. Perhaps it's someone who is just straightforward and outspoken, okay? But you are getting into cahoots with this. This King of Swords in reverse is this King of Swords right here. It is this partner that you don't realize is not giving you all of the information that you need to be given. Okay? Okay? Three of Wands. Have some foresight. Look on down the road. See what's coming. The Hermit in reverse. You might want to think about withdrawing from this whole thing to the Four of Pentacles for your safety and stability and control. Okay? Nine of Pentacles is about remaining self-sufficient and independent. Maybe you're looking at joining forces with someone somehow, some way. But the Nine of Pentacles says independence and self-sufficiency. And it's clarified by just by judgment and strength. What's judgment and strength? Well, judgment is a conscious, cognitive decision within yourself. And strength is about being strong and having courage. Okay, two major arcana saying nine of pentacles, your self-sufficiency and independence. It's a very important decision that you need to be very strong about. You need to make a strong decision to stay independent and self-sufficient. Okay, the chariot, putting in the willpower, the self-control to take the actions that are necessary to achieve success. Seven is the number of contemplation, reevaluation. The chariot is a new direction right here in this reading. Okay, a new direction. Why? Knight of Cups in reverse because it's unrealistic to continue to invest your Queen of Cups emotions in this situation. Three of Pentacles, the teamwork, the collaboration, the Two of Cups, this unified partnership that you are considering, Ten of Swords in reverse is going to come to an inevitable ending. Tell me one more about this, please. Death in reverse, right? This is a personal transformation. Personal transformation about what? The sun that's going to lead you to happiness, success, and vitality, right? Spirit wants you to reconsider and rethink this whole situation right here because there are things that are happening that are not 
that are not um, in your best interest. And the Eight of, of Wands in reverse says, hold off, delay, stall, hold off. Seven of Wands in reverse, self-protection. Two of Swords in reverse. Again, something's being kept from you. To the King of Pentacles in reverse, your success Knight of Pentacles in reverse, long-term, will be stalled if you enter into this agreement, this partnership. Justice, honesty, truth, fairness, always in your best interest. To the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, what is in your best interest? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, stop moving forward. Breaks. To the Ten of Pentacles. Your money, your security, your foundation depends upon it. These seven of cups, your options, your choices, the decisions that you're being asked to be to make. Ace of swords in reverse. Ace of swords in reverse is not enough information. A lack of honesty, just like the king of swords in reverse. Your the truth is not being revealed to you here. You're trying you're 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 getting bamboozled somehow, some way, in some kind of deal or situation, you're getting bamboozled. The king of wands in reverse by some ruthless mofo. King of wands in reverse also represents your lack of success. Why? Because you're dealing with some kind of ruthless, egocentric person that maybe they want to be, to take all control of everything. Maybe they're pushy. Maybe they want a piece of what you got. And once you get involved with them, it's going to be miserable. But this person right here is the same energy as that King of Swords in reverse. Not to mention it represents your lack of success. The Nine of Wands in reverse, overwhelmed. Why? The Emperor in reverse. This is an inflexible, again, egocentric person who lacks self-control and discipline. To the Moon in reverse. This is dealing with repressed emotions, releasing fears. It's about coming out of a state of confusion. It's about seeing things clearly. And it's major arcana, and that's what spirit says. See things clearly. What do you need to see? The star. That there is purpose to the page of cups in some kind of creation. There is purpose in a creation. Tell me about this. Tell me what this, whoa, did you see that? Yep, look, Empress in reverse, and you don't need to have this codependency. You don't need to have the codependency. Empress in reverse is about codependency, and she's also about a creative block, which is also saying creative block, right? Hope, faith, purpose. Spirit leading you, recognition that there is a higher power that knows the end game that you don't. The moon in reverse, right? Come out of the shadows, see it for what it is, see clearly the star. And this purposeful revelation is going to lead you to where you need to go. Page of Cups, which might be creating on your own, being on your own, living on your own. To the Empress in reverse, don't be codependent and block this creation and he, oh and block this creation knight of swords in reverse this is this is lies okay it's lies but it's also a card about a disregard for consequences consequences don't have a disregard for consequences ace of pentacles chasing the coin okay illogical thinking with the knight of swords in reverse chasing the coin. Don't, don't, don't be illogical about the situation, Taurus. Don't be illogical. Okay. Calm, cool, collected. Take a look around you and realize that something is not being shown to you. Okay. I love this stuff. Ah, it's a little rough going down sometimes, but I love it. The grapefruit one. Mm. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you at the very beginning, sometimes I swear and I'll probably smoke my vape like now, okay? I wanna hear nothing about it. Eight 
Ace of Cups in reverse, right? This is talking about um, lost dreams, lost hopes, hurt feelings. To the Three of Swords, grief and sorrow and pain. Six of Swords, get out. Prince of Wands, take inspired action now to get out. Ten of Wands in reverse, avoid an overwhelming burden. To the Four of Cups, contemplate and reevaluate. You think you got it all figured out. And if you did, the hand of God wouldn't be offering you a fourth cup that's going to bring you the stability of the emotional processes that you need. Okay? Take some inspired action. Leave the Six of Swords. This is, this is leave. To the Prince of Wands, inspired action. Ten of, of Wands in reverse. To avoid an overwhelming burden, contemplate, reevaluate. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, loss. Loss, loss, loss. Okay? Queen of Cups, you, Taurus, all in your feels about this situation. Remember at the very beginning, you had feels invested in this somehow, some way. To the Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia. Maybe it's a home business. Maybe it is someone moving home or you changing homes. Maybe it's your children. Maybe it's your husband. Maybe this is some kind of partnership involving your home or your family somehow, some way. And that's why your feels are invested in this situation. The lovers in reverse. Major Arcana says there is a misalignment of values in what's happening here. There is a lack of continuity. Y'all aren't on the same page, and that's what you don't see. To the Page of Swords. This is information, confirmation. Let me use this deck. Information, confirmation, Eight of Swords in reverse, a new perspective. Look at that. Okay, so the Page of Swords, right? It's Pages are new beginnings of somehow, some way, usually some kind of communication. It's a new way of thinking. It's a new thought pattern. Thinking, oh, that's at the initial aha light bulb epiphany moment, right? So a new perspective is what you need here, Taurus. To the Four of Cups, evaluate the Ten of Pentacles in reverse before you lose all your shit. Before you lose all your shit. The world. It is time to close this cycle of your life out. It is time to bring an end to this so you can enter into a new phase, Eight of Pentacles, successfully on your own and build whatever it is you're building, your life, your business, your home, whatever, and build it successfully with no worries. Four of Pentacles, building stability, firm foundation, the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. The hanged man, think about it. Think about what's being said here. Queen of Wands in reverse, because you're either dealing with an egocentric, self-centered, ruthless kind of person, or this is representative of your needs not going to be met. Ten of Swords, bring it to an end, or, it, it, or this card could be saying it will be painful. The Six of Wands in reverse, there will be a lack of success. The Five of Cups, there will be loss, regret, despair, disappointment. The Princess of Swords, new way of thinking, possibly some kind of communication um, coming into you, or perhaps you have to communicate this to someone else. Could have been that shadowy third person that I saw up there. I don't know. Strength in reverse. This is um, needing to overcome something. Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. So you do have to say something to someone with this Princess of Swords right here. But you're afraid to say it. Mentally restless with the Four of Swords, right? Mentally restless about it. Two of Pentacles. But you got to prioritize it. Three of Swords, no matter how much it might hurt or disrupt the whole damn thing or the whole fam damnly, however it might upset everybody or however it might upset the one person that you're dealing with here, you have to say something. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is you, Taurus, a lack of success, just like it was back here, a lack of success. It's a little bit about worried about appearances too. Maybe you're afraid to back out of this. Could be. Maybe you're so far in that you're afraid to back out. But if you have a chance, these cards are saying back out. Prince of Cups in reverse again. It's not realistic. 
to the princess of pentacles to manifest what it is you're trying to manifest here because somebody is dishonest they're tyrannical they are ruthless they're egocentric they're self-centered and it's not going to and they're withholding information and it's not going to be like you think it's going to be perhaps they're withholding information about who they really are could be too Maybe they're withholding information about who they really, really are. And once you get into bed, either metaphorically or literally with these people, then you're going to see all of this bullshit come out and, and it's going to suck the life out of you. Seven of Cups. Your options, your choices, your decisions. Confusion. Yeah, the confusion that you feel. Eight of Cups in reverse says walk away from it. Yep, Prince of Pentacles. For your steady, long-term Queen of Pentacles, success and material satisfaction, death. This needs to have an ending and you need to transform. This needs to have an ending so your life can transform. That's what that is. Yeah, look, strength in reverse, right? You got to overcome those demons. Queen of Wands in reverse, maybe pissing people off. Maybe that's what you have to be strong about. You get some strength about pissing people off. Three of Swords, breaking hearts, grieve, grievances, Ten of Wands, burdens, struggles. No matter how much it is, you have to take action in this situation. But, you know, this is a general reading, okay? It's a general reading. It's a general reading. It's general. And the cards are dramatic. And this could be any varying degree of anything in your life. All right. Do not make a life altering decision based on anyone's general tarot card readings. OK, get your own cards read. The star. Wow. Look at that. Hope, faith, purpose. Five of cups in reverse. Move on. Wow, Taurus. Whatever this is for you, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. And these cards say you can do it better by yourself. They do. They say you can. I don't know what that means. But you can. You can do it better by yourself. There you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel because I'm not here a lot, right? So you're going to want to get notified of when I do post. And I will see y'all about six weeks. Namaste.